Hi year two, welcome to your art lesson for this week. Um, this week we're going to be creating our Great Fire of London collage. Um, so hopefully you have been saving some bits of recycling and things that are um, fire type colors. So yellow and red and orange, um, because you'll need those for your um, artwork today. So you will also need um, just a plain piece of paper uh, could be white, could be black, could be any colour really. Um, you will need some glue. It can be a glue stick or again any kind of glue that you've got at home. Uh, a pair of scissors to use safely. Please remember um, to be very very careful when you're using scissors um, and make sure you've asked an adult first before you start to use the scissors. Make sure you're allowed to do that. Um, and then also have a pencil with you and that would be great. I'm going to show you some of the things that I have collected, the materials that I'm going to be using for my collage today. So here you can see the things that I've collected. I've got um, some pieces of card and a piece of paper that was painted left over from a different um, piece of art that we've done. Uh, I've got bits of recycling, so packages from food, cereal boxes, plastic bag, uh, a few sweet wrappers. Um, I've got a big piece of black card because I couldn't really find much recycling that um, was black colored. Uh, I've got a paper bag there. So all different things that I thought would be good colors to use in a collage of the Great Fire of London. So I'm going to try and show you sort of step by step today how to do your artwork. Um, if you want, you can watch the whole video through and then create your artwork at the end or if you prefer, you can watch a little bit, pause, then do part of your activity and then carry on. Whatever you prefer um, is, is fine. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to start with is that I'm going to use my black paper. Now I've got one big piece of black paper, but if you have lots of little pieces, that's okay too. You can um, still absolutely do this part of the activity. I'm gonna use the black paper as my silhouette. Remember that we learnt that silhouettes are um, black against a lighter background. And I'm gonna make the houses and the buildings and those sorts of things from the Great Fire of London out of the black card. So it's gonna be a silhouette of the buildings in London. And I'm gonna try and think about what buildings might have been there in 1666. We learned in some of our history lessons that the um, St. Paul's Cathedral burnt down um, and places like that. So on my black card, I've got my pencil, I've got my black card. I'm going to draw my silhouette of the buildings of the Great Fire of London. If you don't have a big piece of black card, then you can draw the buildings onto your white card and then just fill it in with all your little pieces of black and gray and, and those sort of darker colors that you were able to save from your recycling. So, oh, let's see, I will start off on this side and I'm gonna draw what I think St. Paul's Cathedral may have looked like back then. Um, thinking about sort of pictures that we've seen in our history lessons and that sort of thing. So I've drawn like that, where it's got a dome for the roof and a little pointed bit at the top. Um, so that's gonna be my St. Paul's Cathedral. Um, next to it, I'm gonna do a bit of a shorter building because I imagine that St. Paul's Cathedral was quite tall compared to some of the houses. So next to it, I might draw a house like that. And I'm not adding detail. I've just done the, the roof in a triangle shape, not adding lots of detail because a silhouette doesn't necessarily have detail. Um, the next building, I think I'll do another house. Um, maybe one more. And then I'd like to try to draw a bridge next to it as well because it did say that um, in one of our history lessons, it said about a, the London Bridge, um, some, some buildings near there burning down as well. So I'm going to draw just like that. So that's my bridge, that's my houses and my St. Paul's Cathedral. 
Like I said, not a lot of detail is needed because it's a silhouette. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, and now I'm gonna cut it out and then I'll show you the next bit. Okay, so I've cut out my silhouette of the city of London. Now on this side, I can see the pencil marks that I drew. So I'm gonna put it upside down so that um, this part is gonna get glued to my just white piece of card. So it will go like that, but I'm not gonna glue it on straight away because I want to fill in my collage of the fire first and I wanna stick this on top, but I can just see where I need to put all those bits of red and yellow and orange um, because now I know what size my silhouette is. So I'm just gonna set aside my silhouette and I've got in front of me all of the bits that I've collected in the different colors. Um, some of them I've cut up already. Some of them I'm gonna tear instead because I think that might give um, a really nice fire sort of effect. Um, so I think I will start out with some yellow pieces. I've got just this paper that we painted for some cards we made a while ago and I'm gonna start ripping that because I think if I rip it, it will look a bit like fire. I don't want any straight edges. So just in little, little bits here. So I think that looks like a really nice piece of fire. So I'll just set that down. Uh, I'm gonna keep going ripping pieces of the card, trying to make Again, just some nice fire shapes, things that look like flames. Um, and remember that it was a huge, huge fire, wasn't it? It was over 13,000 houses burnt down. So this fire was massive. So I'm gonna need a lot of pieces for my fire. Okay, got another nice one there. And then carry on, keep it going. Okay, now I'm going to carry on doing that and I will come back to you when I have got lots and lots of different pieces ready to go and then I'll show you how I'm going to lay out my collage. So here are some of the pieces that I've got ready for my fire collage. Um, you can see that some of them I've ripped up with my fingers, some of them I had to use scissors because they were bits of plastic and they were more difficult to rip. Um, you can also see that some of the pieces still have like letters and, and other pictures from the packaging on them and that's okay too. It doesn't have to be just plain um, orange, yellow and red. I also thought something I don't have but something you might have at home is tissue paper. Tissue paper would be really, really good for this activity. Um, as I got started, I realized that it would be a good idea to trace my... Um, silhouette onto the paper so that I know where I need to stick the pieces of fire. So now I know that all my pieces of fire have to come up here above the silhouette. So um, that's just something I've sort of figured out as I've gone along. I'm going to start gluing my pieces down onto my white card. Um, I thought it would be best for me to start with pieces at the top of the card and then layer them as I go down because then it will look like flames um, overlapping each other. I'll, I'll show you what that's gonna look like. So I will start to glue down some pieces and then I'll show you um, as I go along. So you can see in those pictures that as I've gone along, I've just stuck more and more pieces. I've really layered them on top of each other, really overlapping the pieces. Um, I've had to put quite a lot of glue. So I put down a bit of a layer and then some more glue and then more pieces and some more glue and more pieces and more glue, just so they really overlap. I've tried to cover up a lot of the white as much as I can. There's a bit left, but that's okay. Um, but really overlapping the flames, trying to make them look like a fire as much as I can. So now that I have got lots and lots of pieces of my fire, 
I can now glue my silhouette onto my white card or onto my background. If you haven't got a big piece of black like this, maybe you've got lots of little pieces, you can stick them on in the shape of buildings. So you could try and do some triangle pieces for the houses, or if you wanted to do um, the St. Paul's Cathedral, however you want that to look. And you can just stick those black pieces right onto your card. But I'm gonna go ahead and stick down my large silhouette. So I'll probably need um, quite a bit of glue for this as well so that it stays on top of all of those little pieces of orange and yellow and red that I've got. Um, so really getting a lot of glue on there. And try and get the bridge part as well. And sticking that onto my background best as I can. And really pushing it down. There's a lot of layers of paper here, so I really have to push to get it stuck on properly. Okay. And there it is. There is my Great Fire London collage using lots of recycled materials, using bits of card, anything that you've got around the house. I would love to see a picture of your Great Fire of London collage. Um, please submit it on Google Classroom. Um, and then I'm gonna take everybody's pictures, all the pictures that I get from all three classes, and I'm gonna put them together into a slideshow so that you can see everybody else's work. And it'll be a bit like a gallery walk when we walk around the room and look at each other's work and give compliments, say what we like about each other's work. So if you send me a picture, your picture will go on to that slideshow and I will show you next week in our art lesson, All right? Enjoy the lesson today, have fun creating um, and I, I cannot wait to see all of your work.